So you are interested in roll cages, or maybe Japanese craftsmanship, or automotive racing parts in general. Well, guess what, my friend? I have something simply amazing to show you today. And let me bring you along all the way to Japan, 10,000 kilometers away from here, to Saitama in the Saito Roll Cage Factory. And let me walk you through a whole production procedure on how they fabricate by hand roll cages. And also, let me walk you through the whole installation process so you can install your own roll cage in the future. Important note before we fly over to Japan, activate your subtitles in English so you can understand the parts in Japanese of this video. In any case, join me and let's fly over to Japan. あ、本当だ。いっぱいあるね。あの、この会社は何年ぐらいありますか。えっと、約30年ぐらいです。30年ぐらい。はい。で、あの、10人ぐらい一緒になるほど。で、あの、あなたはどんな仕事してますかこの
it's simply mind-blowing to me how much precision they can actually get in those manufacturing procedures i mean this is like one of the finest examples of japanese craftsmanship that you could possibly think of because everything is made by hand and the plans also i could see them they're extremely simple and uh, i'm really very impressed because you will see later the fitment of those roll cages is so precise and they make them in a way that you lose very little space inside the interior of the car which is really important for people who want to use those roll cages on the street so let me show you one more time how he does that so he sets a measurement from the floor and basically rotates the tube to the given height which will allow him to basically have a correct measurement of what angle the bend has to have and at what what angle it has to be done and then you will see he will execute the bending and that is basically how you manufacture the a pillar in a dash escape model roll cage connecting the dashboard to the main arch at the b pillar once you got that done and all the parts are bent to spec you have to assemble the parts together and that's how you use the jig the parts are then tacked together and then sent on over to the welder. That is the sound of a perfectly set up welding machine and a very talented welder. Who is none other than the founder of Saito Roll Cage and also the father of Nao. And he's been welding, tacking, fabricating for his whole life and he's officially actually of age to be retired but he is still the best welder in the house as you can see in these welds here and he is still working full-time to help the business run and i think you've understood it by now this is a true example of japanese craftsmanship but also a very good example of japanese family businesses striving for excellence in the automotive field As you can see, a really good and steady hand is needed to get the desired results. And as you can see here, the weld has not been cleaned up at all and it is absolutely perfect. In all fairness, I do have a fair amount of experience in welding. I actually had to do welding for roughly three months nonstop in mechanic school. So I can tell you I know more or less what is a nice weld and what is a good weld. And Mr. Saito's welds were spot on the whole day. Let me close up quickly on the tacks. So here you see how it was tacked. And basically that avoids that the parts move around. And then the final weld is done. Naoto-san, what are you doing? I'm doing the tacks. I'm doing the tacks. I'm doing the tacks. So I'm asking now, what is she doing? So as she said before, once the welds are done, from her father she usually cleans up the welds so now is when you can actually look at the welds and see if they're well done and as you saw before even before even cleaning them up they were nearly perfect already so there isn't much cleaning up to do which is a good thing anyhow let's move on over to welds that have to be done on round tubes so here you see he just tacked the tube onto the bracket and now in order to get perfectly uniform and smooth welds on the whole circumference of the tube they use this machine and the welder in order to get a perfectly well done weld that is strong and that is also beautiful to look at so let's take a look at it he explained to me that there are multiple little factors that give you the perfect weld. First of all, you need a stable hand. So they use this kind of little stand to actually put the welder on it. You need regular and constant speed. And of course, you need a well set up welder machine that is actually working with the speed that you're actually feeding and making it turn in order to get the best results. So 
So I asked him, how long does it take to actually make a full roll cage? And he couldn't give me the exact time, but he said for welding, roughly, it takes him a half an hour to do the whole welding on a full roll cage. So as you can see here, I have not edited anything out of this. This is just raw welding coming out directly from his work, which is very impressive. Oh, mm -hmm. In simple terms, he's telling me that if you change the settings of this lever, you're going to change the speed of rotation. And basically, that means that you're going to have to adapt your welding flow accordingly. Because of course, if you slow down the rotation, you will have too much welding material, which will not make a nice weld. So I also asked him what happens if you use titanium, for example. He said, in those cases also, you have to readjust the speed because that does have an influence on your weld as well. So as you understand, their main procedure of painting is using powder coating. So this is black powder for doing black paint. But as you can see, they do very funky, flashy colors as well. And that is regular paint. So that is not powder coating. So of course, and that's the beauty of Saito roll cages is you can actually give them a very specific and precise color and they will actually take care of it for you and paint your roll cage to the color you want. So as you can see, there are many different colors and gray seems to be very popular in Japan. In all honesty, in Switzerland, we usually get them fully black painted because that's like the most popular color. And now it's Nao's turn to work her magic. First, she cleans off all the dust. This is very like standard procedure also in the automotive painting industry. So cleaning it off and degreasing everything. And here you will see live how she actually applies the powder coating. So it's, its name is really perfect because it just does look like you're spraying powder all over it and it actually Looks like it's going to give a matte finish, but in reality, when you will see the end result, you will see that the rendering is actually very shiny and it's like if you got it painted in regular automotive paint. So for simple colors, powder coating is easier and also it is actually uh, not that easy to paint in powder coating. It is a profession in itself. so. It looks very easy, but I tell you to get the colors perfect and the coating perfect, you need to do it quite a few times to get it right. So as you can see here, she's loading everything into the oven and they're going to be cooking everything at a very high temperature that she will be mentioning just in a second. And take a good look at the matte finish. As you will see, when it comes out of the oven, it will not at all be the same color. <laughs> so I quickly asked her, how hot do you need to cook it? I was honestly expecting like 60 degrees or so. Well, it actually turns out it's 180 degrees centigrade. Oh, no. <laughs> so you must be thinking what the hell is this guy doing with baby powder and these hoses 
Well, you're about to understand that in a minute. But basically, what's going to happen is Saito Roll Cage has really awesome paddings that you can buy for your roll cage to actually give it a very nice, warm and comfortable feel in your interior. So one of the employees of Saito is actually going to show me also as a Saito Roll Cage dealer how to apply the foam in the best way so it actually looks the best and it gives this super nice finish in your interior so here you see he's taking the measurements and he's checking w until where he has to cut it open in order to slide it on because the idea is the less you cut the better it is because it will give this perfectly wrapped feel to the roll cage and then when you come across brackets you just do little cuts and little um, slots in order to let the brackets poke out as you're about to see in a second and you can also understand why we need the powder baby powder in there is in order to allow you to slide it on easily and let everything move into place much easier and the good thing is with the baby powder it actually dissolves over time which is much better than soap for example or soap water that will take forever <laughs> to dry up. So as you see here, he's just going centimeter by centimeter with super glue basically and gluing the pads back together. And it's a very tedious procedure, but basically you go centimeter by centimeter and don't let the glue get onto the roll cage because you will stick the pads to the roll cage and that's not what you want. You want still to be able to move the pads forwards and backwards or straighten them out thanks to the baby powder and that's why you need to get the glue only on the pads and not on the metal part. So this gives you an idea of what it's gonna look like once everything is glued together and there's now only 50 centimeters to go. And in the end, all you need to do is to wrap it up Final and ship product. out the goods. And there you have it. The full process of fabrication and production of a full Saito roll cage from the metal tube until the package shipping to your door. If you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Now, let me show you one more awesome thing. We're on top of the factory in the upper floor here and here we are looking at their huge inventory of all template roll cages existing in their catalog. So he just told me that the red ones are Nissans and the green ones are Toyota and the other colors of course are the other brands. So here you see I'm walking through the aisles here. Every single roll cage that you see here is a template of a different car. So here you see JZX 110. You have other ones such as the MR2 SW20. They have the turbo version, the AW11, the JZX100 Chaser, Cresta. That's all well and good. There are a lot of JDM cars in this catalog, but you might be surprised to hear that they actually have many European cars as well, such as the Fiats, the Abarth series, or the Minis, or other cool little European cars. So make sure to contact me if you want more information. Saito Roll Cage, of course, loves custom work as well. So here we're back in their little custom work room where they actually build cages to spec. One very famous cage, for example, is the cage from Atsushi Taniguchi that is called the Drift Sensei in Hyperdrive on Netflix. Big shout out to my bro who actually introduced me to Saito Roll Cage and I'm really thankful to him for that. So make sure to check out his YouTube channel in the link in the description below. In any case, I think you get the feeling as well, but walking through this shop with the dogs, the cats, and the general sentiment of this family business that is working hard every day to bring you the best roll cages in Japan, I really am very happy that I could be here and share this experience with all of you. Now let's take a quick look at this Honda Beat that is also having a roll cage fitted at the moment. And as you can see, the rear half cage has been installed, but there's still the front half to be installed. In any case, let's get to a really interesting point and the final step of the Saito roll cage visit is to see how to actually install one 
in this example car by a professional. So join me and let's take a look at it. So the employee who does these installations actually does one a day, every day of the week. So he's really an expert in that and he's going to walk us through the whole process of how he does it on a daily basis. So the first step is to assemble the roll cage in the car. You should remove all the sound deadening in the car and then once you do that you drill holes through the foot plates that you can see here. You can even put a screwdriver through to make sure nothing moves around and that will give you the holes where you can put the screws and the back plates and assemble everything to fix it to your chassis. Then we move on to the back plates. So these black plates that you see with the sealant are going to be put from the bottom and thanks to the sealant you will prevent water from getting inside your car. So once you put the back plate into position use one of the screws and insert it through the hole and then through the chassis into the base plate of your roll cage and do it then with all the other screws and what happens is you're going to take the chassis in a sandwich basically and clamp the roll cage to your chassis which is a very solid way to fix it to the car and the specialty with Saito roll cages is in comparison to other roll cage brands these roll cages have an extremely tight fit and actually clamp themselves in places where that actually improve rigidity of your chassis so fitting the roll cage is not just for safety but it will actually increase rigidity of your chassis giving you thus a better feel of the car when you're driving under harsh conditions and this will actually allow you to actually drive even better because you will feel the car reacting to your inputs or to the road and you will be able to act on it instead of having the chassis of these old Japanese cars flexing like crazy and sort of absorbing the feel that you want from the road. Once assembled, this is what it's going to look like. It is normal that when you tighten the bolts to spec, the chassis will get squashed a little bit in order to take the shape of the upper and lower backing plates. And so do not worry about that. After you have to install the rear plates. And in those cases, it's actually easier to do it with two people because where in the front you have enough access to easily put the screws from the bottom and tighten them in the back you don't have enough reach so it's easier to ask somebody to help you ask one of your buddies to help you out and then you just slide the screws from the outside once you have the paste of course on the backing plate and then you just add the screws one after the other and it can be done alone but honestly it's way quicker when two of you are together then we're moving on to the other side and same principle he likes to always put a little dot of extra goo in the middle to really let everything come through and seal everything off and that's a good tip for you guys wanting to install your own roll cages at home make sure to give a little dot of extra sealant in the middle like that everything will spread out easier and seal everything off perfectly i want to take this chance while my colleagues here are installing the rest of the roll cage to talk about the fact that if Saito roll cages are FIA or ASN homologated and the simple answer is no they are not they are built to safety standards that are used in Japan they will keep you safe no doubt about it but they do not correspond to the FIA norms and this is really something that has to be spoken about because in the end you cannot use these roll cages for a licensed official FIA races for track days or for street use for people who want a beautifully well-made roll cage that will keep them safe and that will improve chassis rigidity this is the roll cage that you need but on the other hand if you're after a full race spec homologated roll cage sadly their roll cages are not made for that and they have been very honest with me and told me that they are not interested in making those kinds of roll cages because their clientele is not interested in doing FIA races and Saito doesn't want to give absolutely huge amounts of money to the FIA and it is questionable how much the FIA is actually concerned by the safety 
rather than getting money each time somebody sells a roll cage. So now let's move on to something interesting here regarding the installation. As you can see, they're using a tool to spread out the arms of the roll cage as far out as possible so you get the most snug fit and strongly protecting roll cage that, as you can see, there is literally no gap and that means more space in the interior and that means more rigidity of your chassis, which is simply amazing. So if you install your roll cage yourself, make sure to put them as far out as possible in order to save space, but also to improve rigidity of your chassis. As you can see, he's tightening everything up by hand to make sure everything is done well. Also here, super clean cut of the carpet to have a very OEM plus style finish and I just simply love it. And look, even the foam that they have with their roll cages covers up the roll cages and the joints so perfectly that that gives like a super nice finish to your interior. You got to think about it. Where are you mostly in your car? Well, in the interior, obviously. And do you want cold pipes just running next to your head and everything? I didn't think so. So this is an awesome way to actually improve the feel of your interior like that. And on that bombshell, boom, we're back in Switzerland. I hope you enjoyed it. I, I really am super proud of this video because it really reflects the vibe and the know-how and the, the sincereness and the efforts they make in producing these wonderful products. And honestly, I, am, I was so happy to be able to share this with you. If you enjoyed it, make sure to tell me in the comments and of course, like and subscribe and all the good stuff. I'm sorry, but I'm going to do a little shameless plug here. If you are after a Saito roll cage, for Swiss people, very easy. Contact Hanshin Imports in Switzerland. For people who are abroad, as crazy as that sounds, but we are actually helping Saito to export their roll cages all over the world. So feel free to contact us as well and we will be happy to figure a way how to get your roll cage manufactured and shipped over to your country around the world. So make sure to look for Hanshin Imports. You will find a link in the description below and we will be happy to help you and figure out a way how to get your beautifully made in Japan, handmade roll cage. Anyway, enough business plugs here. So the video is coming to an end. I just wanted to say many thanks to all of you who are already subscribed. We have like a 70% non-subscriber rate from many of my good videos. So I would highly appreciate if you could just, it doesn't cost you anything. Just click the subscribe button and I will be making more videos like this. I go regularly to Japan. So if you want that I visit companies or make videos like this, make sure to subscribe and interact with these videos because as you can imagine going to Japan and filming that and with the languages and the translation, it's a huge effort. And I know maybe my production skills are not as high as other people on YouTube, but I think you could probably catch the vibe and the efforts from all of us from the beginning to the end. So I hope you appreciate this and I'm looking forward to showing you new content really soon. This year is going to be packed with racing and make sure to look forward to that. And I will see you really soon. Thanks for watching. Peace.